So once we've got the body and face done, it's time to see how much of the old character we can salvage. Now the boots are fine, we just have to use our mask, blur, and move trick to put them in the right place. The chest plate is also pretty good, we just gotta fix some of the basic positioning and probably shrink it for the new proportions. The collar can definitely be reused, and with a few adjustments, the choker can also be reused. The hat is definitely reusable, and when we bend the arms into the new pose, we can see that the shoulder armor will fit just fine. And now we are starting to get a glimpse of what the final product will look like. Now the top half of the gloves is a really good shape, but the new arm is gonna have to be stitched to it and connect them with our bridge and smooth trick. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for the main gloves, because the old hand topology and finger position is completely different from the new one. So delete the hand from the old glove, grab the new arms, and delete everything above the wrist. Bridge and smooth them like so. And the last thing, which are the forearm guards, can also be reused, but will need to be slightly adjusted for the new shape of the arm. Okay, so that takes care of everything that we can salvage. Now let's look at the things that we can or should not salvage. Now one of the biggest differences between the old version of the character and the new one is the old one was created during my ZBrush series which was the point in time where I had a tendency to model in all the details. But afterwards when we went through Substance Painter I realized that a lot of these micro details like the buttons and the holes on the belt can simply just be textured in later. So nowadays I have a dedicated texture guy on my team and the texture guy has assured me that these kinds of things can definitely be taken care of in Substance Painter. So that means in ZBrush we don't have to model in these things anymore so we're gonna go ahead and remove them. So these belts right here have holes in them and we're just gonna replace them with belts that don't have holes. And the easiest way to do that is with a belt brush or if you're in Blender a belt curve. And if you need either of those you can find the ones that I have created personally for all of my characters on my shop on ArtStation for both Blender and ZBrush. So I'm just going to go through and replace all of the old belts with new ones, then delete all the buttons. Now, the last thing that we're going to change is the outline tube stitching at the ends of the clothes. In ZBrush, there's a really cool trick that allows us to really quickly just outline and tube the edges of an object, and it usually makes things look a lot better. But you'll notice that these things are not really connected, which makes them a really big pain in the ass to rig later on. So instead of outlining everything with tube curves, we are just going to extrude the ends of the polygons, inflate and crease them, and now, because they're all one object, it's going to be way easier to texture and much easier to rig. Okay, now we're basically done with the sculpting part. If you join me next video, I will show you how I add wrinkles and folds to the clothing. Thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.